All right guys, if you've ever wondered why you might feel hungrier after eating breakfast, then this video is for you. I'm going to dig into the reasons that you might feel this way and there are two big ones, what to do to stop it from happening and also give you some dietitian approved science back breakfast ideas that will keep you full and satisfied but also taste delicious. Before we dive in, I'd like to give a big thank you to our sponsor for this video, Safe and Fair. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I am legit obsessed with them. Their granolas are my absolute favorite because they are less dense than other granolas and they're actually made with puffed rice, so they are a little more airy. And I feel like I'm not just eating a block of melted sugar. Now, don't get me wrong, that would taste super delicious, but maybe not feel super great having that on the daily. And their drizzled popcorns are my go-to whole grain snack that satisfy my afternoon sweet tooth. The birthday cake is my fave. They do also come out with fun seasonal flavors frequently too. Beyond their products being delicious, they're also allergen friendly and the granola is free from the top nine allergens. So get your hands on that. And they donate 3% of their proceeds to the Sean and Parker Center for Asthma and Allergy Research at Stanford University. And who doesn't love supporting a company that gives back? I do. You guys can use the code NOFOODRULES or click on the link in the description for 15% off your order, which is fabulous because their prices are already super great, which is another reason I love them and I'm a cereal customer. Did you catch that little girl of cereal pun there? Again, that's code NOFOODRULES at safeandfair.com for 15% off. And guys, they have so many other great granola and popcorn flavors like blueberry cinnamon, chocolate, and honey crisp apple pie. And also, as always guys, this video is for informational purposes only. It is not meant to serve as nutrition or medical advice. If you need medical advice in relation to anything that we cover in this video, be sure to reach out to your healthcare provider immediately. This video is provided as is with no representations or warranties expressed or implied. All right guys, so the first reason that you might be feeling more hungry after eating breakfast is due to our morning hormone shifts. So in the morning, our cortisol levels, which is our stress hormone peaks. This is to prepare us for the day ahead and it's a natural phenomenon called the cortisone awakening response or CAR. Now, cortisol plays an important role when it comes to nutrition for many reasons. Here's an example from today's dietitian that kind of explains it super well. This is a typical example of how the cortisol response operates as its intended survival mechanism. So for First, an individual is faced with a stressor. Next, the complex hormonal cascade ensues and the adrenals secrete cortisol. Cortisol then prepares the body for fight or flight response, flooding it with glucose, supplying an immediate energy source to large muscles. Now, cortisol inhibits insulin production in an attempt to prevent glucose from being stored, favoring it for its immediate use. Cortisol is also going to narrow the arteries while the epinephrine increases heart rate, both of which force blood to pump harder and faster. At this point, the individual addresses and resolves the situation. In our case, breakfast, the day gets going, etc. After that, as the day gets going and the body is up and running after its period of rest, the hormone levels return to normal. So the big thing to take away here in relation to why you might feel more hungry after breakfast is that blood sugar spike that increases the supply of energy the body is giving you in relation to that high cortisol it's experiencing as a normal response to waking up and starting the day. Now you might be thinking, well, Colleen, shouldn't I not eat breakfast if my body's getting energy? No. I do recommend eating breakfast. Our bodies like fiber, fat, and protein to help actually stabilize that blood sugar. So including that in breakfast can actually help your blood sugar out in the morning. We'll get into more specific examples in a minute, but that's one reason why you might feel more hungry after breakfast. The second reason that you may feel hungrier after eating breakfast is that you're not getting enough food throughout the entire day. I want you to imagine this, okay? So I'm gonna tell you to swim from one end of a long, swimming pool to the other end completely underwater. Now, when you do that, you get to the other side and you come up for air. What do you do? Probably take a big inhale, right? The same phenomenon can happen with food. If you restrict food, your food intake too low compared to your body's needs when you finally allow yourself to eat it, such as at breakfast after not only a full day of low intake, but also fasting overnight while you're sleeping, your body will want to stock up on food while it can. The same way you take a big breath of air when you come up from holding your breath underwater. Make sense? Dieting has also been shown to increase stress. Restricting calories themselves has been shown to increase cortisol output, and even just tracking your food without necessarily restricting it increased perceived stress. So when you pair this with our previous discussion of that normal stress response, essentially that could be happening not just in the morning, but throughout the entire day. 
So what should you do about breakfast? Firstly, I recommend eating something, even if you're not necessarily hungry for it. This is using what I call practical hunger. You know you haven't eaten in a while and your body will need to replace the energy that it's using to get your day going. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to sit down to an all-you-can-eat buffet sized breakfast when you're not actually feeling hungry. It means more along the lines that you're offering your body something. Remember how consuming breakfast helps stabilize our blood sugar in the morning? Well, if we skip it, this could actually have a negative impact on our hormones by creating insulin resistance as that blood sugar is kept higher and not stabilized. This can also help to prevent you from having that phenomenon that we talked about with the pool and taking a big breath once you come up for air. Skipping breakfast could cause a big intake of food later in the day, which may cause you to eat past fullness and that wouldn't feel so great. And also might not have a great impact on your blood sugar depending on those food choices. Personally, I don't believe that the benefits of things like intermittent fasting outweigh their risks, like leading to binge style eating, developing disordered eating, increased stress. This is a whole other topic though, so comment below if you wanna see a video on that. Another tip for breakfast is to include some whole grains, fiber, fat, and protein. This can help to actually stabilize that blood sugar. Okay, so now I wanna share some breakfast ideas that I love that encompass everything that we've talked about that will allow you to get your day fueling, stabilize your blood sugar, and not be hungry after eating. Okay, so first breakfast idea. Honestly, sometimes it's easier to drink things in the morning versus eat solid foods, especially if you are not necessarily feeling hungry first thing in the morning and are using more of that practical hunger we talked about. A smoothie is a great option for this, and I have a recipe for my feel full banana protein shake that is my go-to. It is actually so delicious and gets to an almost ice cream consistency. I like to top it with safe for granola. The birthday cake is my fave. And again, this granola is made with puffed rice also, and it's just a little more airy and less like I'm just eating a block of melted sugar, you know, which again, wouldn't be great for that morning blood sugar on the daily. Using some gentle nutrition there. My second breakfast idea is peanut butter and banana yogurt toast. Guys, this is a great option because you can get those whole grains, some fiber, protein, and fats. I love to add a layer of Greek yogurt to my toast for an extra protein punch. Plus, to be honest, it allows you to add way more toppings since they have actually something to stick to and they won't just slide off the toast. My third breakfast idea is overnight protein oats. If you need something quick, grab and go, you can make some overnight protein oats, AKA proats. I have a recipe that I can link in the description for you, but these really hit all of the marks again, protein, whole grains, and fiber. I like to add some berries for an extra boost of fiber, antioxidants and sweetness, and some nuts for a dose of fat and added crunch. Yum! If you have any other favorite breakfast ideas, be sure to comment below and let me know what those are. I am all about getting more ideas and switching things up. And thank you so much again to our sponsor, Safe and Fair, for supporting this video. Again, you can try some of their products. Guys, you need that birthday cake granola. The popcorn's amazing too. And you can get 15% off by using the code NOFOODRULES. Just head to safeandfair.com and use the promo code NOFOODRULES for 15% off. I hope this video was super helpful in helping you understand why you may feel hungrier after eating breakfast and also give you some ideas on how to combat it so you can get along with your day and not be thinking about food 20 minutes later. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and tap that little bell down there to be notified every time a new video is uploaded every single week. See you later.